In the heart of Venice, under the shadow of its ancient waterways and amidst the echo of its bustling streets, was born a painter whose brush danced with the colors of dreams. Emma Chiardi, a name that would soon be whispered in the corridors of art galleries across the world, was not just any artist. She was a dreamer, a visionary, who saw the world not as it was, but as it could be. Emma's journey began in the loving arms of a family where art was not just appreciated, but lived. Her father, Guglielmo Ciardi, a master of the Venetian school, was her first teacher. Under his guidance, Emma learned to see the world through an artist's eyes. Together with her brother Beppa, they painted on plain air, capturing the essence of nature in their canvases. But Emma was more than her father's pupil. She was an innovator. As the world around her buzzed with the hum of the new century, she embraced the traditional Venetian vedutism, but infused it with her unique style. Her paintings were not just views, they were windows to a world filled with light, color, and dreams. Emma's talent soon took her beyond the confines of Venice. She traveled the world, her art becoming her passport. From London to Paris, New York to Buenos Aires, Emma's paintings found homes in the hearts of art lovers everywhere. Her exhibitions were not just shows, they were celebrations of life, color, and beauty. Despite living in an era when women were often sidelined, Emma Sciardi shone brightly. She was not just a painter, she was a force, a woman who embraced her talent with both hands and sculpted a path of her own. Her works, filled with the light and color of her beloved Venice, were a testament to her spirit. But Emma was more than her successes. She was a woman of few words, who believed that true expression came not through speech, but through the stroke of a brush. In her studio, amid the scent of oil paint and the soft rustle of canvas, Emma found her true voice. It was here, in the silence of creation, that she whispered her dreams into existence. As the years passed, Emma sought solace in the countryside of Refrontolo. Here, among the whispering trees and the gentle flow of the streams, she found a new muse. Her later works, infused with the simple beauty of nature, were a reflection of her soul, a soul that had found peace in the brushstrokes of her own making. Emma Chiardi's legacy is not just in the paintings she left behind, but in the inspiration she continues to offer. In the streets of Venice, in the galleries of the world, her spirit dances on, a reminder that beauty, hope, and dreams are eternal. And so, under the soft glow of the Venetian sky, Emma Chiardi's story is a beacon. It is a tale of passion. <laughs>